Howdy! How's all my friends in YouTube land today? I am going to do, be doing some power carving or power engraving, whatever way you want to say it, on a piece of leather here. I put a little butterfly down on this uh, piece of leather on my peel and stick um, transfer sheet. Now, somebody's asking me the other day about the peel and stick transfer sheets. Um, this is what it looks like. Stick and burn, I guess is what they call it. I call it peel and stick, but it's stick and burn is the exact name for it. And you can get these in all different designs and everything. And it's extremely thin plastic paper. Um, I don't see here where it says on this sheet what the thickness is of this paper, but I mean, it is extremely thin. It's thinner than a piece of paper. Um, let me get a sheet of it up here. Now, this is with the backing on it. And when you peel the backing off of it, see if I can get it up under here so that you can see. I mean, this stuff is wafer thin. It, it's really, really thin stuff. Somebody was asking about it being too thick and, and causing fumes and that sort of thing. It don't do that. It, it's really thin paper. But it is... See, let's get it up here. Let me see. This this is the part that the pattern is on right here. And it, it's wafer thin. And that's one thing that makes it so hard to peel off of the object when you get it cut through or burnt through, whatever you're doing to it. Um, because it is so thin, it's hard to get the knife underneath it to peel it off. But it doesn't cause any fumes or anything because it's so thin. If you are doing wood burning and you see smoke coming off your wood burner, your wood burner's too hot, so you need to turn it down. That's why I like the one with the regulator on it. You can um, turn it up or down however you need it to go. Um, if you have just a straight wood burner that doesn't have a regulator to it, it's just going to be hot, and it, you can't regulate the temperature of it. So, with all that being said, I got my engraver here. It says on it, it's called a power carver is what it says on the on the label of it. It comes from a company called SCM Systems. And that's S as in Sam, C as in Charlie, M as in mother, systems.com. Now you go there and you look at their engravers, you'll see it. They got these, you can just buy the pen or you can get the whole system. I recommend the whole system because these have to be regulated. There's a turbo motor in these and they have to be regulated or the speed. Otherwise, you're going to burn the turbo out of them, and they're expensive to replace. So, I got the uh, air compressor, the muffler, the regulator, the pin, and the uh, bits, and I've, I've got some other stuff with it, too, when I ordered mine. I don't know what kind of a deal they're offering right now, but um, you can go over there and check them out if you're interested in it. It is an expensive piece of equipment. I ain't going to kid you, um, but it is a professional piece of equipment. This is what the pros use. That when they go to engraving the gun stocks and and all the the fancy things that they do and they usually get about a hundred dollars an hour for their engraving work so yeah it ain't a toy you know you're not going to go to toys r us and find one of these now they sound like a dinner drill so when i'm working on this piece it's just a little piece of scrap leather just to show you how this works uh, i'm going to turn off the volume because i know that the sound bothers some people's ears so we'll turn the volume off on here and you can watch me carve and I'll turn the volume back on when I get to the point where I'm finished with carving.
Okay. And just that fast, it's done. Took me a second to get the car turned off there because my arthritis is bothering me today. And my poor old thumb didn't want to push that button down. <laughs> so I had to use both hands on it today. Don't get old. It's my advice to you. I don't recommend it. All right, now we'll peel that off of there. And it just shows you just how quick that power carver will do this. You can't really do this fine detail work with a Dremel. Sorry to tell you that. Um, Dremels are good for big stuff, but for fine detail things, you're just not going to get the results out of it that you're going to get out of a power carver. Dremels will tend to chew it up too much. Now, you might ask what size bit I was using. It is a number eight bit that is specifically designed for the SCM engravers. You can get all kinds of bits for them. Diamond bits and carbide bits and, you know, whatever you need. And it does take a minute to, to get that off of there. I don't see my favorite tool up here that I generally use for doing my scraping. This will work, though, better, I think. Let's take that little tip and get underneath that edge. There we go. Whenever you're doing these intricate designs, it always takes a little more work to get the pattern off of them because you cut all them little tiny places out of it. But I wanted you to see it with the pattern off of it so you can see the detail that I put in there. And the number eight bit is a straight bit just used for doing the lines. If I wanted to carve out around it, put shadows in it, I'd use a, a ball bit. Has a little ball on the end of it. But I just wanted to do this real quick on a scrap just to show you how this works. These would be pretty on a belt or on a hair barrette, purses. Even a key fob would look nice with that design on it. So there is the design, a little butterfly on the on the leather. There you have it, quick and simple. Hope you enjoyed that. Leave me a comment. Share it on your social media. Give it a like if you enjoyed it. And uh, remember, Brenda's crafty. Be like Brenda. Bye.